much to me because I got on at nine six nine sixteen. Okay, that's fine. All you need today is a piece of paper and something to draw with. All that's right. All As a matter of fact, I will flip my camera around so you guys can see what I have on my screen or on my table, I should say. So give me like two seconds. One and two. All right, so this is what I have on my desk. It's a little blurry right now, but once I put my hand there, it should get less blurry. All right, I'm going to be using a marker. Uh, I know it's a little blurry still. It'll, it'll get in focus once it's, uh, the camera gets ready. Uh, but I would like to use a pencil, though, but I can't. Uh, the reason why I can't use a pencil is because it's harder to see on your screen. So there we go. It's in focus now. All right, so I'm going to be using a marker just so it's easier to see on camera. But if I were you, I would highly suggest you use a pencil instead, just in case if you want to erase. All right. Now, today, what we're going to be doing is a gingerbread house my way for kindergarten. So what you want to do first is hold your paper horizontally. So horizontally means left to right or side to side. So you don't want your paper up and down like this. You want to make sure your paper is side to side like this, okay? All right. First step, you want to draw a nice straight or kind of like a little bit wavy line on the bottom. That's where the snow is going to be. And you want to have enough room on top for the gingerbread house. Okay. And again, if you're just logging on, we're doing a gingerbread house and we're going to make sure our paper is horizontal like mine. All right. So my first step, I want to draw the sides of the gingerbread house. So I'm going to draw one vertical line like this on this side. I'm going to do another vertical line on the opposite side right there so just draw two vertical lines you could space it out as far apart or as close enough if you want together just make sure there's enough room for a door in the middle and make sure there's enough room if you want to add windows beside the door i don't want to put side windows inside of my door so i made mine this spaced out so right now if you want to erase it and uh make it further apart you can all right the sides of the gingerbread house are going to be candy canes. Watch very carefully how I curve it. So on this one, I'm going to curve outwards, and I'm going to stop right there. Okay. On the next one right here, I have to curve the opposite way. So I'm going to go from here, I'm going to go curve, and I'm going to stop right around there. Okay, so do that first. I'll wait a little bit. So make sure you guys go further out enough just in case um you don't run out of room so look how far out i went i went pretty far out that's very important all right next step i want to go right around here like right in the inside of this curve i'm gonna go on the inside i'm gonna make a straight line going up and look the curve is in my way so if the curve's in your way then good job if the curve is not in your way you did on the outside which is fine so if the curve is in my way i'm gonna have to follow it Go around this way, and then I'm going to connect it with a little curve like that. Ta-da! All right, I have one candy cane done. Hello. If you guys are just logging on, we are doing a gingerbread house with a piece of paper and something to draw with. Okay, so next step, I want to go the exact same thing, but opposite on, the, on this side. So I'm going to start my line on the inside right here. Or I should say on this part right here where I can't go any higher because there's a curve in my way. So since there's a curve in my way, I'm going to curve my line. And I'm just going to attach it to the other one with a loop or a curve like that. All right. Now, before you do stripes, it's a lot better for candy canes if you diagonal your stripe line. So I'm going to go from this corner. I'm going to go up at an angle. So instead of going left to right with your stripes, it's better to go like an angle like this with your stripes. So I'm going to go up like this. And then as I get to the highest point, it's going to start curving. So I'm going to start curving my lines or turning my lines the other direction, just like so. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on my other candy cane. So instead of doing normal stripes, I'm doing diagonal stripes like this. Because if you've ever seen a real candy cane before, they are diagonal. All right, I'm almost done with my other kidney cane, and I'll pause for you guys to catch up. 
Awesome job. While you guys are drawing that, um, I'm just going to do a few things. Because I just want to see what it looks like. So don't color yet. I just want to see what it looks like. Uh, just make sure everything looks good. All right, so that's what it looks like when it's colored. All right, next step. You guys ready? All right, between these two candy canes, we're going to be doing a pointy roof. So find where the middle is on the top, and I'm going to put a dot so I know. So that's the middle between the two candy canes right on top. And then you're going to do as straight as you can. You're going to make a line going from this candy cane anywhere you want to that dot. And then from this candy cane to that dot. Okay. Just try your best. All right. Good job, guys. Now, if you ever notice in real life, uh, the gingerbread house is made of graham crackers. So it's not this thin. So you have to make it thicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another like kind of like teepee in the inside by making it a line going this close probably. Just like that. Just try your best. There we go. Good job, everybody. We do have seven minutes left, which is great. Thanks for not interrupting me. You guys are awesome. Okay, I will move on because I don't want to run out of time, though. All right, next step, I want to add gumdrops on the roof. So I'm going to put maybe three on this side. So little tiny ones like this, maybe like the size of like if you're chasing the tips of your fingers. And I'll do three on this side. If you want to do more, that's completely fine. If you want to add four, five, six on both sides, that's fine. I just want to do three on each side, though. I don't want to overcrowd my drawing. All right. If you want to add a chimney, you're allowed to. I think for this one, I don't want to add a chimney. But if you want to add a chimney, that's allowed. All right. Good job, everybody. All right. This next part's very simple. I do want to do a curved door. So I'm going to go from here and kind of like this curve the top of the door and go all the way back down to the snow. If you want to do a rectangular door instead, that's fine. I just want to make sure mine's curved so it looks more festive. All right, next step. I am moving a tad bit faster than usual, but I'll make sure we get this done. I want to add maybe like a size of like a quarter or a nickel in the middle of this door right there. And that's going to symbolize a candy that I'm going to teach you guys how to do. On that candy, I want you guys to make a dot in the middle. And then from that dot, all you're going to do is spiral outwards. So a spiral is basically when you kind of just draw a nice swirl. And that's going to be our peppermint candy in the middle of that door. It's pretty cool. If you wanted to put more, more down, you could have. I don't know why I put mine so high. All right. I do have only one last step on mine. Now, um, from Valentine's Day, sometimes I like to draw a heart to symbolize that heart candy. Um, but since that company got discontinued, I have a better idea. Um, there's these uh, crackers that kind of look like windows. So I'm going to draw a square on top of my door. So this is going to be a pretzel, just like so. <laughs> Mavericks give me a look. All right, trust me. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw four squares inside this square, okay? I'm not sure if that made sense, but watch how I do this. I'm going to go in the middle right here, middle of my square. I'm going to create a square from that middle part right there. So here's a square. I'm going to do another square on the other side. I'm going to do a square down here. And I'm going to do another square down here. And then since it's one of those pretzel cracker things, all I'm going to do is kind of create dashes in the inside right here. Not inside this tiny um, squares, but like on the outsides. And that's going to symbolize the salt on those uh, little bite-sized crunchy crackers or crunchy pretzel things. All right. So we only have uh, about four to three minutes left. This is complete to me. So to me, this is done. 
But if you want to add extra decorations like how I have over here, so I'm going to flip my paper around. So I did do this with the other grade. Hold on, Brianna. Give me one sec. Um, so if you want to add like snowmen, maybe like uh, a tree beside it, or maybe a pathway, or maybe some stuff in the bottom you can, or a chimney. You're allowed to do that too. But that's what I did with the other class. So I can show you guys super quick how I would do it. So if you want a pathway, I would just be like kind of like tiny ovals like this. Or tiny circles. That would be a pathway. Snowman's pretty easy. I'm just going to draw big circle, medium circle, small circle, two eyes, carrot nose, and dots for the mouth. He's waving. Ta -da. And then maybe that's right there. For my tree, I would just do a simple triangle on top. Just like that. And I would create loop de loops, kind of like fish scales, just like that. And I'd probably add a star on top, just like so. If you want to add a chimney, it's just a rectangle. And then uh, in the front of the house, I'll just do big gumdrops, just so it has some sort of thing in the front. All right, with that said, it's 928. I'll leave it up here for like a tad bit longer, but that's it. All I asked you guys to do was just a gingerbread house. All this extra stuff is just extra. All right, guys, I'll give you guys another minute. If you want to share it with everybody, you can hold it up to your screen right now, even though it's not done, because you can always color it later. That way we can all see. All right, I'm seeing Luke, good job. Evelyn, awesome job. Logan, Stromberg, nice. Lauren, ooh, nice colors that you use. Anzar, hello, good job. Jacob, I like how you did it on your sketchbook. Logan, oh, what a good job. Look at mine. He did, he said, good job. Good job, buddy. All right, I'm going to stop the recording, though. Here we go.